Barcelona is shaping itself as a leading international tech hub. And every time I visit this city, I find something new, something improved. All these free events, so many, it's like the city here is buzzing with, with art and, and design. Public, private and international companies work close together to build a stimulating and innovative environment in the city, making it the digital capital of Europe. Right now we're in Pobleno, a very interesting neighborhood. It was a little village, a little smaller town, and it started getting renovated and just gentrified in the most unique way. They started creating a lot of digital spaces and creative spaces, and it's just like a hub of innovation and thriving with like concept stores, design schools, art galleries, crazy, unique hubs like this one. I will explore a few of the places here and let's see if we can get a feel of this unique neighborhood. Little did I know, one of the most powerful supercomputers, Mare Nostrum, it's in fact located in Barcelona. About that in a second. This town is enhancing and improving the use of technology in the digital health sector. It is taking existing concepts for greener and more sustainable city to the next level. So this is what became the famous District 22 at. It's an innovation district. It was actually a more industrial place with big warehouses that kind of got transformed for artists to live in and create and work. It would be interesting to explore and see what the feel of this neighborhood is. Okay, Pobleno Urban District. This is with all the galleries. Look at this. The Madonna. That's like your special vision activated. Barcelona is not humble when it comes to becoming the leader of innovation and it does anything it takes to attract even overseas talent. Pretty much on every corner there's so much construction going on. It's very obvious they're reforming this area tremendously. Like every corner, every building, it's, it's being remodeled, rebuilt, or, or completely new built in some of the places here. It's, uh, it's great to see. But what impressed me the most is the focus all these companies, municipal governments, and tech organizations have on the quality of life of the residents. I'm walking at the epicenter of Pobleno, El Pobleno, and it's filled with like coffee shops and boutiques and beer places. Actually, in this place, they have a lot of artisanal breweries for craft beer. I'm not a big beer person, but it's, uh, it's something that, you know, I would appreciate. I appreciate anything that is catered and just unique and, and developed in, an, in any artisanal way. It's really stimulating to walk this Rambla and, and see the, the environment around and like what they build around and how they're progressing with their ideas. And if you think about Barcelona just as a beautiful city with historic buildings, gorgeous architecture, you're mistaken. In the 19th century, Torre Girona Chapel is situated one of the world's most powerful supercomputers, Mare Nostrum. For the most complex problems, we need something extraordinary. We need thousands of computers. This computer helps the city not only to calculate and process different data, but in this case, for better urban planning. In 2014, Barcelona started a project creating super blocks throughout the city where buildings and businesses are organized in such way to leave more space for greenery, green areas and pedestrians. Even though this is a great idea, the air pollution did not get much better. It was better in the actual little areas of the super blocks, but everything outside was still not great. And this was only calculated and seen after they ran the whole thing through the supercomputer. How is this going to help Barcelona and other cities in the future? They are creating a digital twin of the city and they're running all the possibilities, all the things they're planning to build in the city, 
as a as a model everything that would go wrong will go wrong on paper by having all these data of course they can avoid mistakes and just resources that they would spend on utilizing certain things in the city so that's an amazing idea i'm super excited about that because this technology will only develop more and more and right now they are working also on implementing this into the health sector which is amazing and they started i believe with um, experimenting and running tests for cardiac patients so this is very very feasible to do to be able to recreate a single human heart from a patient and actually help with the diagnosis or with the understanding of the underlying disease that they have so this is only only the beginning and what's fascinating is that all these urban changes and, and urban planning and engineering and architecture, it's not isolated and just based on local government. They're heavily involving the residents and the public living in these areas. It's called um, citizen science where they can participate actively by using the services, giving their own opinion, challenging government's decisions and all these new plans that are being implemented in their uh, residential areas. And only this way they can, they can see from a first-hand feedback what they need to improve. And I think it works perfectly with combining high science with the supercomputer and the actual human citizen science opinions and suggestions and put them all together. That's one way where Barcelona and maybe soon other cities and countries can become digital in a positive way. So I came across La Borda, which is a communal living model, won the prestigious uh, architecture award and it was built out of uh, 28 apartment structures and they did this experiment during the heaviest lockdowns and none of the residents got COVID. All of them were in great mental health. This is a place based on uh, co-ownership, communal living, shared spaces and everything that came heavily after lockdowns. Working from home, being isolated, yet together, how do you find this balance? And I think it's very important to have structures and models which we can use not only when we have this kind of unfortunate circumstances um, like the pandemic, but also things that, you know, that can happen in the future or just knowing how to live together with other people and yet being, you know, independent or isolated and safe. It is interesting how things change in the world and what we need to prepare ourselves for, but things like that really excite me and I think that there are a few projects in Barcelona that are on the right path of making it the digital capital of Europe.